Good afternoon, everyone. It is a beautiful, foggy, warm winter day here in Georgia, really setting a dramatic scene for the rest of the afternoon in the woods. And uh, we're actually going to do something very different today. We're going to look for a species of salamander that I have never seen. One of relatively few that we have within a couple hours driving distance of home, and this one actually lives in Georgia. So that's gonna be the main target for the night. We have to drive a couple hours north to the mountains of Northwest Georgia. And uh, I will check in with you guys when we get there. It's supposed to drizzle on and off for the remainder of the night, but it's gonna be really warm. Might even be some snakes out, honestly, with the temperatures we're gonna have tonight. It's gonna be in the high 60s after dark. So fantastic weather for amphibians and potentially even some reptiles. So I'll check in with you guys when we get to where we're going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are up here in North Georgia, poking around this awesome freshwater spring. See, there's a bunch of fish swimming around right there. And our target today is the brownback salamander, Eurycia aquatica. And these are a really interesting little salamander that's basically closely related to the two-line salamander. They're a little Eurycia that look almost identical to two-line salamanders. And uh, they live in this super cool spring habitat. So we're gonna be walking around this and seeing if we can turn up any. And hopefully once it gets dark, they'll start crawling around, so. All right, guys, here's our first salamander of the night. This is a little spotted dusky salamander. Looks a little bit different from the ones we get back home. It's a little more colorful. But a really pretty little salamander to start off the night. We've seen a couple of them in this little margin here, along with some larvae. But nice, good looking salamander. That is absurd. Look at this tank of a woman. That is a Blue Ridge two-line salamander. Not the Eurycia we're looking for, but not one we get to see terribly often either. Very cool. So what we have going on here is not just a gravid salamander. She also definitely has something wrong with her. We've got another one here. This is actually a male of the same species who also has a weird growth on his tail. These are both Eurycia welderi, the Blue Ridge two-line salamanders. And not fantastically healthy examples of the species, as you can see. So we're gonna poke around here a little bit more and see if we can find a more healthy looking individual because these two are both a little bit busted up. Not sure entirely what's wrong with it, but probably something hormonal. That's what I was told when I found a similar looking salamander before. It's Here's probably a healthy, a healthy female. Yeah. Nice. All right, so Yatin's got a healthy female here. Normal looking. She's also got a little beat up tail though and mm -hmm. beat up on her leg. Look at that, dude. That's wild. But she doesn't have that kind of weird growth. Yeah, it's not distended. Anymore. There's three yeah. of these right here in this one little area. So here's a more healthy, really the first really healthy looking Eurycia we've seen tonight. Doesn't really have any obvious deformations, but this is another Blue Ridge two line. Definitely the most common salamander. He does have a little bit of something going on on his tail tip. Super weird. Here's a nice dusky salamander out climbing around. This is Conanti, the spotted dusky salamander. You see he's just nudging around. Really don't know what he's doing, foraging or looking for a mate maybe. Really cool though. I saw another one down here somewhere. I don't know where he went. Oh, here we go. It's a really cool looking dusky. Look at that guy. Tons of duskies out along with the two lion salamanders. Look at this man's. <laughs> Sticking his head out. It's another Conan tie. What on earth? Look at this one. That is insane. So there's definitely something going on here because we have found exactly zero perfectly healthy Eurycia. And every single one of them has had something wrong. This is definitely the most ridiculous looking one yet. He's super deformed. And uh, I mean, I really couldn't even begin to hazard a guess as to what's wrong here other than what I've been told that one of the ones that I found historically that had a similar bloating issue going on was uh, potentially a hormonal issue. So could be hormonal imbalance, could be something in the water, could just be some sort of unknown pathogen. So either way, we're definitely gonna make sure we sanitize our gear before we go tromping around anywhere else because this is definitely not good, whatever is going on here. 
All right, guys, here's a nice green frog. This guy has a super weird dorsolateral fold where it's super pronounced there by the eye, and then it just kind of disappears. Front half green frog, back half bullfrog. I'm just kidding. It's definitely a green frog, but he's definitely a little weird looking too. And here is another green frog. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> All right, guys, it's misting pretty hard, so we're gonna do a little bit of a change of strategy and try to walk the road and see if we can see any aquatica on the road. Um, for the most part, we were only seeing Blue Ridge two lines and a couple of long tails and habitat. So we'll see if the road's got a little more activity. Well, we might as well be at the bottom of the driveway because this is the only salamander we've seen on the road so far. A four-toed salamander, very familiar face. All right, buddy. Well, good luck out there. <laughs> He's a little bit different looking from the ones at home, too. He's a little more orange throughout. And there's another one. Second salamander on the road. Another little four-toed. There's a nice little northern slimy out and about. Hanging out next to this spider, which I'm sure he would eat if it came too close to him. One of these nights where it's not raining, but it's just damp out here because of the amount of moisture in the air. But it's not the best for salamanders. We've only seen those two four toads out actually away from the creek so far. A pickerel frog with a really weird eye. Look at that. This is actually a big, healthy looking pickerel frog. Really cool. I might actually take a photo of this guy because we don't see these guys too often back home. Really cool. These are great looking frogs. And they look pretty similar to leopard frogs, but they have super even, almost like unnaturally perfect blotches on them where leopard frogs are a little bit messier. This is about as big as these guys get. Maybe a little bit larger, but really cool frogs either way. And something we don't get to see too much on the channel. So I'm just gonna let him continue hopping around in the creek. We still have not seen our target yet which is fine because we're seeing all sorts of cool stuff, but it'd be really nice to get our target before the end of the night. So we're gonna keep at it for a little bit longer. We're basically just working this habitat super hard, making sure to check every little area and see if we can find one of these elusive salamanders out and about. Here's another look at that kind of gnarly eye he's got going. Everything here is really unfortunate. <laughs> it's not, not a super healthy amphibian population, even though we are seeing a lot of animals. It just seems like everything's kind of out of sorts. All right, guys, here's our next species of salamander of the night. We've seen a couple of these, but this is the first one I've been able to film. This is a long-tailed salamander, also a Eurycia, close relative of our target and the two-line salamander. But these guys are pretty easily recognized by their super busy spotty pattern on the back and that long tail. They look very similar to three-line salamanders, but the two don't really coexist, it seems to be. You really only find one or the other, or hybrids, potentially. Really cool-looking Eurycia, super vibrantly colored, and they're pretty common here. A lot bigger than two lines. They're more, more three-line salamander size, so upwards of four or five inches, potentially. But we're just gonna leave that guy to it. Nice-looking salamander. It's a pretty normal looking two-line salamander, a Blue Ridge two-line salamander, nothing horribly wrong with it. That's in situ too, just chilling right there. But still looking for that aquatica, no luck yet. All right, we're probably gonna be wrapping up here soon, but just got a nice little double flip. There's a two-line and a big dusky. Looks like all the duskies here are spotted duskies, but there's a little helgramite. Pretty gnarly looking. Look at this guy. Coming out of the hole sideways. Look at this guy. Holy crap. That is a big, beautiful long tail salamander. That thing is amazing. Yatin is currently being bitten by a Conan tie. <laughs> I wonder if it thinks your hand is like its burrow and it thinks you're prey. 
That was weird. Yeah. What a guy. Grumpy little Desmog. Well, it's not really looking like we're going to see our target tonight. Unfortunately, we're running out of batteries for our flashlights. It's only about 9 o'clock, but without any lights, we're not really able to do anything. And if it's not raining, we can't really road cruise. So we're kind of just out of luck tonight, I think. But we're out here walking, and we're going to finish this pass. And we get back to the car, we're going to cruise our way home. And we'll watch for stuff on the road, of course. But it doesn't look like we're going to be finding our brownback salamander tonight. But... I'll definitely be back. We might end up doing some salamander stuff tomorrow, but I think I'm going to go look for snakes. But unless we see something between here and the car, I'm probably going to wrap this part of the video up here, and I will see you guys in the morning. Yo! That is a mole salamander. What on earth? <laughs> this is the first one I've ever seen in North Georgia, actually. I can't remember another one. That's wild. That is really cool. Definitely makes it worth the trip if we don't see anything else tonight. We were actually in the car heading out when we spotted this guy, but you can see he's got that super cool blue flecking on his sides. And we don't really see that coloration in a lot of our amphibians, so really unique. This guy's a metamorph. These guys are small salamanders, but this guy's particularly small. They don't get too much bigger than that, maybe twice that size as full grown adults. But either way, very interesting little salamanders, and I'm very happy we stumbled across this guy tonight. They have a super weird range where they're pretty common down in South Georgia. Once you leave the coastal plain, you don't really see them until you get up here into Northwest Georgia. So really interesting salamanders with a really weird range and a very unique look about them. Super derpy, definitely one of the derpier shaped salamanders we have. So anyways, we're just gonna leave this guy to it and see if there's anything else out. All right guys, here's our next find of the night right up the road from that mole salamander. This little guy is a southern redback salamander. We see them quite often, but very seldom do we actually find them crossing a road like this. And this is an area I've never seen one. He looks a little bit different from the ones we used, we're used to seeing back home. We get a lot of the leadback phase where they just have like a basically uniform lead coloration down their back. And then we get a lot of the red ones, but this kind of orangey copper color is definitely unique. Never seen one quite like that before, but we're gonna move them out of the road and keep at it. it. Seems like there's at least decent numbers of stuff crossing this road, so we might cruise a little bit longer. And here's a nice Blue Ridge 2 line on the road too. That's the most vibrant one we've seen tonight. Look at that, beautiful colors on it. That was definitely a more textbook example of this species. Look at this Metis. Dude, that thing is titanic. Look at that. What a guy. There's not a whole lot of salamanders on the road, but we are definitely seeing them, and we're seeing good diversity. I don't think we've had two of the same species yet, so we're going to keep at it a little bit longer and hope for that aquatica. Well, it is misting harder than ever. We're walking again because there were enough salamanders. We felt like we should get out of the car. Here's another Blue Ridge 2 line. Really beautiful. These guys are typically a lot more vibrant than southern two lions, but for the most part, we've been seeing duller ones tonight, but this one is very nice. Not a wood frog. Another green frog. Definitely an abundance of these out tonight. Go on. Go on. <laughs> or don't. <laughs> Sure. Well, our flashlights are all dead, and we're on our way home, and we stop for one last salamander, and that's the one right there. That is the brown back salamander, Eurycia aquatica. And it looks like, honestly, that one doesn't really look messed up. I think it's just fat. That might just be a legit gravid female. That is exactly what we came here for, and it took a lot of work, but we finally did it. So really the defining characteristic of these guys is the fact that they don't really have that bold stripe running down the side that two lion salamanders have. They've got that kind of thin stripe and then pretty minimal pattern on top. So really subtle differences, but you can tell just by looking at this thing that it's ever so slightly different from the ones that we've been finding tonight. And in fact, it's a full species different. Very cool. 
we're gonna take some photos real quick and then we'll get her out of the road all right ladies and gentlemen well we took a few photos of this beauty I've been talking about these guys all night and now that you finally get to see one you're probably like well that's just a two-line salamander and I am very happy to see this girl after a long night of finding Blue Ridge two lines so Definitely not complaining about how the night's gone. We saw some awesome salamanders and ended the night with our top target. So we're just gonna let this girl move off the road and we're gonna finish the long drive home. So cool. Fantastic way to end the night.